How to use a chainsaw and ride a quad bike aren't usually on the curriculum for high school students, but they are among the skills being taught at agricultural courses across the north of the state in an attempt to address a shortage in skilled workers. Bernie reporter Selena Bryan has taken a look at the classes with a difference, which are trying to link young people with farmers looking for workers. Picturesque and Tally House near Launceston is the backdrop for some very loud learning. These students are learning the basics of life on the farm in a course designed to address Tasmania's skill shortage. Well, I can talk to you about the, all the adjoining properties that I know and we could all put on more employees. There's no shadow of doubt about that. It's a case of finding the right ones and to try and be able to get people that can cope, that can work on their own, and this is the problem. The Your Future in Ag course is a federally funded pilot program running out of Launceston and Burnie. Its organisers are targeting people interested in getting into agriculture or those who are just starting out. We'll roll it over and finish off this piece of wood. As well as quad bikes and chainsaws, tractor operation, occupational health and safety, first aid and chemical handling are also being taught in the 10 day course. Well we just see that there's a lot of young people that are interested in getting a job in agriculture and we thought if we can provide them with the basic skills, um, employability skills to get them a start on farm, we can sort of meet that need for a young people in agriculture. One of those young people is Emily James. The 16 year old is from Scottsdale, a community that's been hit hard by the forest industry down Turn. Um, there's not much work there now for, kid, for younger kids. Um, the future's going to be even worse around that place. There's only really farming. The course has come at a good time for the high school student. I love agriculture, I love working with animals and this is just a way to get the skills I needed to be able to get into ag, like working on a farm or, you know. She says the practical side of the course has been great, despite some hair-raising moments. Yeah, this definitely gives you all the basics that you need and they look great on a resume, like the chemical handling and the quad bikes and all that, because it's all about safety. Safety on the job is one of the big aspects of the training and it's a message that's starting to sink in. I think it's filtering through, they just, they just perceive that now as something we have to do, whereas my generation, we used to shy away from that and uh, we get away with that, we'll do this, we'll get away with this and, and uh, no, they, they take it serious but we push it hard. The Ag Skills course was originally aimed only at young people, but it's expanded to include people of all ages. There's also been interest from Tasmania's migrant community. The two migrants who made it into the course both came from farming backgrounds, but the skills they're developing are a big shift from those they used at home. There's a lot of differences. Um, one of our humanitarian entrants said he'd never ridden a bike before, never used a chainsaw before. They used cross-cut saws over there. So to get him skilled up and work ready, I think is a great thing. We really are fairly skilled in uh, animal production and husbandry and vegetable production and quite used to the, the, um, the fundamental principles of farming. Here there's just the new um, uh, machinery and other um, systems that they need to um, become acquainted to. The training courses are addressing that knowledge gap. We've noticed the market clients learn very quickly and they're very keen to give anything a go. Um, their, their work ethic is um, quite exceptional as we found from uh, some of the farms that they've been working with. Here is a handbrake. 41 year old David Van Tartang is from Burma and has lived in Tasmania for just over a year. He's already working as a fruit picker but wants to expand his skills. Yeah, David was really good on the chainsaw, he's like an old hand at it. David used to trim trees in India with Jack and Jill saws, hand saws and first time he picked up a chainsaw he's like a champion at it. Did you enjoy it? Yep. Yeah. It's hoped the program can be repeated in Tasmania and possibly replicated in regional areas around the country. Once the students here have finished the course, the instructors want to connect them to farmers seeking workers. These young people uh, finish the program, they will be able to link them up with people who do want to employ young people on farms and get them into jobs fairly quickly. For now the students get to enjoy learning on the land. Often they're at school, they go through the theory and have a little practice session, but this is a real farm, you know, they, they couldn't get any better and they'll love it, they'll love it. Just can't get them off the machinery and that's a problem. 